Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today, friends, if you will, take your Bibles, turn with me to the Gospel of Luke, Luke chapter 2, and we'll look at verse 14 as a text verse of Scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace and goodwill toward men. What a beautiful verse of Scripture. And I pray that God would certainly add his great blessings to the reading of his holy word today. Get that good fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have a wonderful encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. Well, amen. Friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Today, friends, I want to bring to you a devotional thought titled, Your Prince of Peace. Does your heart yearn for peace? The hectic nature of Christmas sometimes inspires more weariness, conflict, loneliness, and feelings of unworthiness than the joy promised by the angels at Christ's birth. Friend, the tumult within your spirit and unfulfilled dreams may leave you longing for rest, but you can be assured your Savior desires to give you genuine tranquility in the midst of all the pressures of the season. My friends, you will feel exhausted and overwhelmed when you believe everything depends on you. But Christ calms your soul by taking full responsibility for your needs as you obey him. Beloved, you'll find peace when you trust in Christ because you're assured that the one who is best able to give you the victory in every situation, he will never leave you, nor will he ever forsake you. So listen, when you feel overwhelmed, stop and spend time with your Prince of Peace. And listen, friend, then rejoice in the fact that he's got everything totally under control. Truly, the Lord Jesus is always ready. He's always willing. And he's always able to help you because he's your prince of peace. Think about this, friend, and now let's pray together. Lord, 
thank you for being our Prince of Peace and giving us true rest. Lord, you are the joy of our soul forever and forever. And we thank you for being our Prince of Peace. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen and amen. Well, friends, I pray that devotion has been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them, remembering that the Lord is your Prince of Peace. Share the devotion with someone else. Let them find true peace. And remember, your life is the Bible that some will read today. And Merry Christmas to each and every one of you. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.